Okay, tell me your name. My name is Warren Hinkle. And what are you doing today, Warren? I'm, I'm helping the needy for Jesus. Okay, how are you helping them? Uh, providing the basic needs that they have, such as food and different things. Okay, and um, have you prayed with anybody? Yes, we have. Okay, can you tell me about that? Uh, we just prayed some healing and that God would bless, bless their basic needs outside of what we're giving. Okay, and why do you do that? I, I do that because I love, I love people and uh, I love our Lord and that's something that he asks and that's something that he did himself. Okay, and tell me about your relationship with the Lord. How did you get saved? Well, uh, I got saved um, in college. Mm -hmm. um, some friends of mine uh, helped me realize that I was on my way to hell and I happened to find Jesus in Alt Mulgee. In Alt Mulgee. <laughs> yeah, November 8th, 1984. Awesome. In my dorm room. Wow. Sitting on my bed. Two of my friends were there, and they led me in the sinner's prayer, and I've been serving Jesus ever since. Awesome. What if somebody was going through a hard time and you wanted to pray for them? Uh, why don't you say a little prayer for them? What would you say? Well, uh, first of all, I would try to establish... Uh, what what we're getting ready to pray for and that they understand what's getting ready to take place. Um, some people may know, some people may not, and and then try to inform them a little bit uh, briefly on what's getting ready to take place if they'll just believe. And then just pray with them, believing that God is going to meet the need. Amen. All right, so let's say um, my car broke down. What are you going to What are you going to pray? Uh, well, that's kind of a, a tricky question. Uh, well, not well. I wouldn't say real tricky. Uh, we would pray in agreement that uh, the car is no longer broke down. We know natural things break down, uh, and then we'd recheck the car. And if the car is still broke down, then uh, we would pray that natural help would that the Lord would send natural help to take care of the natural problem okay. like we say cars cars are man-made and they'll break down and if the Lord chooses to heal the car that's awesome if he doesn't then we know that he'll provide a way to get the car fixed okay what about a person what if they were sick what would you pray well um, I would let them know that uh, God doesn't get glory in their pain and try to get the prayer as short as possible because they're in pain and the main concern is to get them out of the pain for their benefit so that they can give God the glory and let them know that uh, healing took place at the cross and all they need to do is receive it and, and just pray with them <clears throat> as quick as we can to get them out of the pain they're in so we can get God the glory that much quicker. Okay. Uh, what if somebody had a beautiful little girl and they wanted you to pray prayer coverage over their little girl? What would you pray? I would just uh, let them know that, uh, that little children are precious to God and that we all have to come to God as a child. Some of us, you know, we're, we're adults, but we have to have that mentality uh, somewhat as we're coming to Him and then just pray a hedge of protection and that guardian angels camp around that child and that nothing will, will harm them um, and let them know too that um, until they're at that age of accountability God does more for them than we realize until that time when when they come to accountability but that's between basically I believe between the child and God when they're at that at that point, but just let them know that, yeah, we're praying, but God does a lot more than we realize for children. Amen. All right. Thank you, Owen. You're welcome.